Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. I have another really super cool electromechanical arcade game from the Silver Bowl Retro Arcade and Museum in Delray Beach, Florida. This one is called Speedway by Chicago Coin from 1969. It's a driving game. When you turn the wheel here, I think that little car that's on the stick is actually attached to it mechanically and it moves back and forth. Basically, it's what you'd expect. You hit the gas, try to make your car go the same speed as the other cars, keep it on the road, and don't hit other cars. If you hit other cars, it causes an accident and you cause your score to stop going up. As long as you're not hitting other cars, your score continues to go up. There's a cool gas pedal on the bottom, which looks cheapo, but it has a really nice feel to it, actually. And uh, the game sort of feels pretty good. Definitely a fun game to play, as you'll see in a second. Now, as you might expect, if you've seen some of my other videos, it's all done with mirrors. The actual cars and everything else is down at the, the bottom there, and there's a mirror that reflects it and makes it look like it's further away in the cabinet. So let's check out some gameplay. First of all, I press the ignition button to start the game. And uh, look what happens here in the beginning, it starts off, all the cars go really fast, they can come hit you from behind and cause an accident right away. But as long as you can sort of hit the gas at the right pressure and keep your cars going at the same speed as the other two cars in front of me in the right lane, basically I don't even have to steer because I'm going to keep on passing the cars in the left lane and the cars in the right lane can't get me because they're in front of me and they can't hit me from the back. So the game is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. All you have to do is keep a steady pressure on the gas and don't steer at all basically and you'll pass all the cars. And you can see as I'm playing the time is ticking down but my score keeps steadily going up. And every time it goes up a little bit, a certain number of uh, miles I guess, the position at finish on the left side goes down. So right now it's I'm in fifth place but in a second now it says I'm in fourth place. And um, I think there's something wrong with this machine. The dials are a lot perfect. They're not made to be oiled or something like that. You can even see the position is stuck between two numbers. But generally, that's how it works. Then if you get into first place, you get some extended time and opportunity to earn some more points. So it's an easy game if you know what you're doing. But I really enjoyed it, actually. It's not often you see a game like this, an electromechanical arcade game with a driving theme. And uh, see, there's this extended play, keep driving, because I got to first place. And uh, I just enjoyed playing it, even though it was easy. So, you know, and maybe this machine was broken. Maybe it's supposed to be harder. I'm not sure. But um, that's the experience I had anyway. See, so the time's about to run out, but it's going to keep on going for a little bit more. Anyway, if you get a chance to play this game, I definitely recommend you check it out. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll do a lot more videos like this on the channel, more electromechanical arcade games. Let me know what you think in the comments. Check out my Patreon if you want. And uh, have a great day, everybody.